In this lesson, we're going to learn how to set up relationships between dimensions and how to control the display while still in the sketch. The file that I have open right now is called dimdisplay.ipt and it can be found in your Chapter 7 Exercise folder. I'm going to start off by making the sketch active and using the Look At tool, I'm going to look plan to that sketch. So what I want to do now is I want to place in a relationship to this top horizontal line so it will be one-third the size of that 45.5. Now I could place in a dimension and go back and do the math, but then what would happen if I would go back and change that dimension down at the bottom? Well, the top dimension wouldn't get updated, so I want to create a relationship there. So from the 2D sketch panel, I'm going to go back and click under the general dimension tool, click on the horizontal line, and I'll locate it. So while the text is still highlighted, I'm going to move my cursor back over that bottom dimension that I want to have the relationship to. And you'll see that it goes to a pointing finger, so I'm just going to pick on that. And it's given the label of D1. Every dimension that is placed is given a value starting off with the value of D0, D1, D2. And we'll take a look at that in a little bit here. But now in this case, I want to set up a relationship to say that it's going to be one-third the size. And you see, when I didn't have a valid entry there, the text goes red because Inventor cannot solve for that. So as soon as I type in the number 3, it is valid. So in this case, I'll just uh, press the check mark. Now let's go back and check this out. So if I go back and change that dimension down at the bottom to 60, of course the top dimension will change to 20. Now, if I slide on down to the 2D sketch panel here, and click under parameters. We can see in the parameters dialog box that it's listing the three dimensions that I have, the D0, D1, D2, telling me the unit, and also the equation. In this case, I can see the dimension that I just placed. There's my relationship of D1 divided by three. In another lesson, we'll talk about creating user-based parameters. But the other thing that we can do being that D0, D1, D2 doesn't make necessarily a whole lot of sense. You can, you can just click in the D1 area in this case, and I'm just going to type in length. And as soon as I click out of that, you'll see that the equation is going to get updated. So that makes a lot more sense to a user understanding exactly what length is instead of D1. So you can go back and do that with any of these uh, parameter values that you need it to. So in this case, just going to click on done. So when you're placing in dimensions, you can have any type of equation that you really can probably think of here. So in this case, if I wanted to go back and have the relationship be the vertical dimension divided by 2 and then plus a value, I'm just going to use some basic algebraic equations. And I'm going to say that it's going to be this dimension, happens to be d0, divided by 2, put it in parentheses. And then let's go back and put a plus point so now, no matter what happens, if I go back and change that dimension to 40, you'll see that this is always going to be half of that, plus the 0.5. You'll also notice the fx behind some of these dimensions here. So the fx is designating that these dimensions have a parameter or they're being driven by a parameter. You can see more of these dimensional displays here. Let's just click done, get out of the dimension tool. If you right click under dimension display, if you go back and select on the name, it will display all of the names that we, we saw in the parameters dialog box. If again, if I come back and right click under the dimensional display and I change that to expression, you'll see even more information. So in this case, it's going to tell me the name and exactly what it's equal to. The last thing I want to talk about here, if you bring up the help system, which I've already done here, and I typed in equation, and I went to the equation here, you'll see in the help system, it lists everything that you're going to need to know about utilizing different operations inside of these equations.